on the inside of that outer leg loop to get around the shoulder. And you can pull them apart to face them. And there's a really good space maker you can do. So the first position, we push the swing down to the knees by dropping the hips. And then we bend the hips back up towards the sky. And I use my chillaxin arms to just chill here, which feels really good on the top of the shoulder. This is called shoulder sweep. So then what we're going to do is keep our legs straight. Just start to drop your feet towards the ground by pushing your hips up and let it slide up. It feels nice to let that slide happen, that retraction in the back of the legs. And then we keep letting it slide. I don't have enough storage on my okay. phone here. Maybe we should. Um, so we keep letting it slide above the butt. I push away so I can hop up to wrap my legs around. and arch. Oh my God. <laughs> with the Runa's commentations. We're just going with it. Runa's <laughs> going to be like, oh my goodness. This is okay, curl in. Turn through my legs like that. Arch. 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 And then curl in. So maybe three of those. From there, once we drop, we extend our legs. We reach for the outer leg loop. The top of the nub is a great place to hold. We're going to pull and extend, replacing these on the shoulders just right. You can pull them apart to get the sweet spot. There is a sweet spot. Once we're there, these look really good. Next they do. <laughs> <laughs> Ta -da! Once we're there, we can just do a little twisting and turning from side to side. Oh my god. It just feels so good. Breathe out all of this. Tension in the neck. And then we're going to, I'm just going to go through the whole routine and then we'll, we'll break it up into up, we grab for the leg loops, and we have to pull. Once you pull, grab for the swing, pull it up to the knees. We let the leg loops slide around our waist. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> so then these are our breaks. Uh -huh. We hold on to our breaks, and then we free fall forward, and then we come on down. Oh my god. Once you come down, you have like a double wrap here. That's why we call it girdle. Amazing. It's like the best feeling in the world. All of our leg stretches from here. I like this one in particular for opening up the hip flexors because this is all pulling and opening up that tightness that lives there. So we have all of our leg stretches that we do in our intermediate that we can do here. Bow and arrow. So this is a really good one to teach some of the leg stretches. Sadhakanasana, which is incredible. So then when we're ready to come out, for our butt, so the outer butt, we hold on to that leg loop, we thread our free feet through, and we pull, and we come to sit. If we come to sit, we can come back into a child's pose, but it means we're going to come full circle, so it's very easy. And then from here, we can do our whole time collapsing routine. We can actually extend one leg, and uh -huh. the other leg, and come to slowly breathe out. So all the routines that we learned in the entire training is contained in our class. So the end routine is Come into our wow, which is really fun. You can also be done with the feet arched. arched. That's, that's a total cat's cradle. <laughs> and then when we want to come down, we're just going to hover in with our feet. If you want to get fancy about it, you can come on through and take our elbows and come into a little bit of an elbow lock here. Oh, that's incredible. So good. 
And the two things we all have to do. I love it. It's so cool. It's all really, 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 really,